customers. Yeah, okay, so our technology and our service offering is more or less partner agnostic. Okay, and I'll talk about that in a second, but let's talk about the product and the service. So the software itself is a, to, to use MLS type wording, is a syndication engine, except that we syndicate to Airbnb, VRBO, Booking.com, Google, Expedia, Home2Go, Holidu, TripAdvisor, and the list goes down, down, down. Everywhere people are shopping to book accommodations. And of course, our own website, leaftown.com. And we also power the website of our partners. So if you were to create, if you have a brokerage, Gordon, brokerage, Gordon's brokerage, we can power gordonsbrokerage.com, essentially powered by our tech. So that's kind of the demand generation side. And then once the guest books, we have a suite, of, like a, we're part of an ecosystem of software, which we've you know integrated with all these uh, third, we call them best in class third party solutions, which complement our offering. So one of which is uh, guest screening, like sophisticated guest takes a photo of their face, of their driver's license. And then once they've passed screening, we have a software partnership with an insurance company that puts in a million dollars of damage protection behind that guest, behind that booking. Uh, keyless access solution where they only get a code that works for while they're there. Um, noise monitoring to detect parties in the asset. We do all of the dynamic pricing and yield management. Uh, we integrate with on-site cleaning companies through software so they know what to do, when to do it. Uh, and also finally guest amenities delivery, which is soap, shampoo, uh, cream, all branded under your brand, under gordonsbrokerage.com. If you want the soap to say that in the shower, for example, for the guest. And we handle all funds from getting the funds from the guest to distributing the, the funds to the cleaner, to the broker, to their agents, uh, and to the homeowners ultimately behind. And even the, the, the fund delivery to the homeowner behind the brokerage and the agent uh, is white labeled and branded under Gordon's brokerage. Thank you. Every single booking multiple times a month in the asset owner's bank account is your name and your brand. Yeah. Huge value add. Huge value add. Yeah. So that's, that's the tech and sir. Oh yeah. Well, that's the tech. And then the services, we have a team of reservation agents located around the world and we respond to all inquiries, live chat, web, uh, sorry, WhatsApp, email, phone, uh, 24, seven, 365. So our teams are in Canada, Spain, and the Philippines. All of them are our own employees, no outsource call center whatsoever. And then we do all content creation and optimization. So we maintain the listing content. So our partners don't have to do that. So that's kind of the jet stream as a whole. And then we take all of that complexity and all these software integrations and we package it and sell it to different verticals just on a rev share model, which, which people love. And so the best rev share model, sorry, the best vertical for us is the brokers and realtors because they are, um, you guys are uniquely positioned in the middle of transaction flow to capture inventory for management. Put it that way and most brokerages and realtors in north america don't do short-term rentals yet because it's complex for all the reasons i just listed exactly so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we also partner with just asset owners one of our customers and great friend owns a um, boutique he's a canadian real estate developer but he built a 15 unit apartment building slash boutique hotel in mexico in sayulita florence sayulita.com and uh, we partner all of that including that website that i just talked about so we work with small real estate developers. We've even partnered at one point, and that's kind of stalled because it's an under renovation. We'll never know if it'll come back, but a US pension fund acquired 10 hotels, 2,200 rooms. They're renovating all the hotels. They're a pension fund. They're not a hotel operator. They, it's a complex what they're trying to do, but anyways, they pick Jetstream. And we even partnered down all the way to a small single homeowner. We're not nope. fans of single homeowners <laughs> because they're, you know, it's a small deal for Jetstream, but yeah. if they have a nice home, because some people have really nice homes, we'll definitely partner with them. Well, hey, I yeah. mean, look, there's there's a tremendous gap just generally in the real estate industry with tech. I mean, what is it that in the United States, somewhere in, depending on where you look, 40 to 45 percent of all GDP comes from small businesses. Right. And so yeah. if if you're get, bringing that big value add for their small to midsize hospitality industry businesses, I mean, that's a, a unique uh, way to enter the market and a really unique way to to reshape how um, folks are connecting with, uh, where they're going to spend the weekend. So, well, let, um, yeah, let's talk about that real quick. Cause you had asked me that in the question and, and that's really close and dear to my heart right now. There's hundreds of millions of dollars flowing into private equity that are buying real estate inventory for short-term rental purposes. So that's one field that most of us are not playing in. You got the likes of the Vacasas of the world that are also public now took a beating recently, but nonetheless, they've raised hundreds of millions of dollars and they're doing a roll up of property management companies. 
and they're going around to brokerages and say, send us your homeowner leads and we'll pay you two grand. Whoopie doo. And now they're turning into a brokerage for Casa. So Jetstream really is the only solution out there that is really purpose built to power the small, because you mentioned the smaller operator, the small brokerage, the realtor, to compete on a global scale, because we're the same technology stack as those guys. But instead of building it for ourselves and then raising hundreds of millions and acquiring other companies, we're offering it really on a rev share uh, to smaller operators so they can they can compete and grow their business in that capacity. That really resonates with me profoundly, like as a human being to do that. A change of pace from the Get Rich Quick gurus. Subscribe to the Real Finds podcast for in-depth conversations with voices shaping the real estate world.